Question number 261. You are building an app that will provide users with definitions of common AI terms. You create the following Python code. For the following statement, select yes if the statement is true, otherwise select no. Changing what is an LLM to what is an LLM in the context of AI models will produce the intended response. Option A, yes. Option B, no. The correct answer is Option A, yes. Changing the prompt from what is an LLM to what is an LLM in the context of AI models provides more context guiding the model to generate a more relevant and accurate response. The additional specificity in the prompt helps the model focus on large language models in the field of AI, encouraging the likelihood of producing the intended response. Question number 262. You are building an app that will provide users with definitions of common AI terms. You create the following Python code. For the following statement, select yes if the statement is true, otherwise select no. Changing you are a helpful assistant to you must answer only within the context of AI language models will produce the intended response. Option A, yes. Option B, no. The correct answer is Option A, yes. Changing the system message to you must answer only within the context of AI language models provides explicit instructions to the model constraining its responses to the specified domain. This ensures the model generates answers that are more focused and relevant to AI language models, increasing the likelihood of producing the intended response. Question number 263. You have an Azure subscription that contains an Azure AI document intelligence resource named DI1. DI1 uses the standard S0 pricing tier. You have the files shown in the following table. Which files can you analyze by using DI1? Option A Option B Option C Option D Option E The correct answer is Option C. It meets all the requirement for processing by the Azure AI Document Intelligence Resource. The file size is 5 MB, which is within the 500 MB limit for the standard S0 tier. Its dimensions are 5000 by 5000 pixels, which are within the acceptable range of 50 by 50 pixels to 10,000 by 10,000 pixels. Question number 264. You have an Azure subscription that contains an Azure AI content safety resource named CS1. You plan to build an app that will analyze user-generated documents and identify offensive terms that are specific to the local language dialect. You need to create a dictionary that will contain the offensive terms. The solution must minimize development effort. What should you use? Option A, a text classifier. 
Option B, text moderation. Option C, a block list. Option D, language detection. The correct answer is option C, a block list. A block list in Azure AI content safety is specifically designed to store custom terms like offensive words or phrases that you want to flag during content analysis. It supports localization and minimizes development effort by allowing direct integration into moderation workflows without needing to train or maintain a custom model. Question number 265. You have an Azure subscription that contains an Azure AI search resource named AS1. You implement a custom skill in AS1 that performs language and sentiment analysis of documents. You are evaluating the use of AS1 as part of an enrichment pipeline. In which order will AS1 index the documents? 1. Output field mappings 2. Skill set execution 3. Document cracking 4. Field mappings 5. Push to index Option A, 2, 3, 1, 4, 5 Option B, 5, 3, 2, 4, 1 Option C, 3, 4, 2, 1, 5 Option D, 1, 4, 2, 5, 3 The correct answer is Option C, 3, 4, 2, 1, 5 Azure AI Search processes document in the following enrichment pipeline order. First, document cracking extract content. Then, fields mapping map source field to enrichable fields. Skill set execution runs custom and built in skills. Output field mappings map enrichment outputs to index fields. Finally, the enriched content is pushed to the index. Just a quick reminder, if you don't have time to watch these videos and instead download all questions and answers, feel free to purchase them on Buy Me A Coffee page. I have shared the link below. Question number 266 you have an Azure subscription. You are building a chatbot that will use an Azure OpenAI model. You need to deploy the model. Which three actions should you perform in sequence? 1. Deploy the DALI model. 2. Deploy the embeddings model. 3. Provision an Azure OpenAI resource. 4. Provision Azure API management. 5. Deploy the GPT model. 6. Apply for access to Azure OpenAI. Option A 3, 5, 6. Option B 6, 3, Two. Option C three one four. Option D six three five. The correct answer is option D six three five. First, you must apply for access to Azure Open AI to use Open AI models. Once approved. 
provision an Azure OpenAI resource in your Azure subscription. Then, deploy the GPT model for your chatbot. This sequence enables you to use GPT for chat functionality with minimal steps. Question number 267. You have an Azure subscription. You plan to build an app that will use the Azure OpenAI DALI model. You need to deploy the model. What should you use? Option A, the Azure SDK for JavaScript and Azure Machine Learning Studio. Option B, the Azure Portal and Microsoft Graph API. Option C, the Azure SDK for Python and PowerShell commandlets. Option D, Azure AI Studio and Azure Command Line Interface CLI. The correct answer is option D, Azure AI Studio and Azure Command Line Interface CLI. To deploy and interact with the DALI model in Azure OpenAI, you typically use Azure AI Studio for configuring and managing the model and Azure CLI for deployment and resource setup. This combination supports a streamlined, low effort way to manage Azure OpenAI services, including DALI. Question number 268. You are building an app that will share user images. You need to configure the app to perform the following actions when a user uploads an image. Categorize the image as either a photograph or a drawing. Generate a caption for the image. The solution must minimize development effort. Which two services should you include in the solution? Option A, object detection in Azure AI Vision. Option B, image descriptions in Azure AI Vision. Option C, image type detection in Azure AI Vision. Option D, content tags in Azure AI Vision. Option E, image classification in Azure Custom Vision. Correct answers are Option B, image descriptions in Azure AI Vision. Option C, image type detection in Azure AI Vision. Image descriptions in Azure AI Vision automatically generates caption for images, which meets the captioning requirement. Image type detection help categorize an image as a photograph or drawing. Both are built-in capabilities of Azure AI Vision, minimizing development effort. Question number 269. You have an Azure subscription that contains an Azure AI content safety resource named Resource One. You are building an app that will analyze text by using Resource One. You need to identify text that contains hateful content. You need to complete the following code. What should you choose? For drop down one. Option A block list maths. Option B categories analysis. Option C equals. The correct answer is option B categories analysis. It instructs the analyze text options object. To include content category analysis such as hate, 
violence, sexual, and self-harm when using Azure AI content safety. Since the goal is to identify hateful content, this category level analysis must be enabled in the request, which categories analysis does. Question number 270. You have an Azure subscription that contains an Azure AI content safety resource named Resource1. You are building an app that will analyze text by using Resource1. You need to identify text that contains hateful content. You need to complete the following code. What should you choose for drop down to? Option A, Option B, Option C, Option D. The correct answer is Option D. In the code snippet, we are trying to retrieve the severity score of the hate category from the analyze text result. The question mark dot operator ensures that if the matching category is not found, it doesn't throw a null reference exception. The question mark question mark zero fallback ensures that if no severity is returned, a default value of zero is used instead. Question 